Hi grade 11 students, so in this video we are going to continue with a uh, manufacturing. So the account that we are going to draw today is a raw material accounting stock. We are going to do work in progress account. The last one we are going to do a finished good. So please make sure that you understand them properly uh, so that you can get these free marks. Okay, so when we talk about a raw material guys, remember under manufacturing, we are talking about a business. Uh, that sell a product that they produce on their own. So obviously the first step when they produce a good, they must buy what? A material. If you are in a business to produce chairs and tables, obviously you must buy what? A wood so that you can produce those tables and chairs. So that's why the, this account is the first one. We buy material first. Work in progress is, is, is the same as production. Then we produce. When we produce, we transfer them to a finished good. From there, that's where we can be able to calculate a cost of sales. We can be able to calculate a markup and all those other things. Okay, let's go straight to the question paper that we have for today. Uh, 2.1. You are provided with the information of champion manufacturer. For the financial year ending 29 February 2020. Required. Prepare the following ledger account. This is the three account. Okay. And we're going to calculate gross, gross profit for the year. And the markup. Okay. The information number A. The following indicate the stock on hand. Okay. We have a raw material stock. Work in progress. Stock of finished goods. And consumable store on hand. Okay. We have an opening balance and closing balance. How do you see that this is opening, this is closing? The previous year is opening. The current year that we are dealing with is closing. All this account, they record opening balance on the debit side. The closing balance on the credit side. Which means that already you have a free six marks. Just to copy opening balance and closing balance. Okay, let's start with raw material. Opening balance was in 2019 was 107,000 and closing was 85,500. Let's go to work in progress and do the same. Work in progress, opening balance was 25,800 and closing balance was 86,414. And finished goods, opening balance. Opening balance was 126,400 and closing balance was 25,400. Okay, then the other one we have a consumable store on hand. This one is indirect material. Indirect material is not the same as raw material. Raw material is the same as direct material so don't mix up these two indirect material fall under factory overhead nodes if it is required for you to prepare okay now we are done with opening and closing we have to fill this account first raw material remember when we buy we record this side when we return we return this side this side is for adding it's a plus this side is minus it's like a asset account it's increase on the debit and decrease on the credit okay Let's take information number B. Office stationery purchased is a no for this account. Raw material purchased for cash. For cash, you must write bank. Okay. It's going to be 250. Bank is representing that there is a money that goes out or goes in. Okay. Raw material purchase on credit it's a credit control it's a liability because we haven't yet paid okay one fifty eight thousand one fifty eight thousand is going to add what our material the last bank guys is when we paid for transport transport cost okay and then let's check a transport cost if we have it, a carriage and purchase of raw material is 15,400. We're going to record 15,400. Carriage and purchase is the same as uh, transport cost. It's, it's one and the same thing. Okay. And then the next one. 
Uh, let's check if we have any written. Okay, let's check additional information number. Okay, additional information. The raw material cost 16,000 purchased from electronic supplier were returned on 29 February 2020. This transaction was not recorded. The return material of 16,000. We have to indicate this side and say 16,000. All right. Now, I think uh, we, we will be done with this account and we must calculate the totals. The total here is going to give us 530,400. Work in progress, we get it as a balancing figure. This one minus this two. It's gonna give us 428,900. Work in progress from raw material. We're just gonna record it as raw material under work in progress. They're going to swipe aside. Okay, we're gonna say amount of 428,900. Okay, let's move to the next one. The next one we are going to do work in progress account we already write three balance already because this one was calculated from there this one is opening this one is closing now let's take direct labor and factory overhead okay so in this case direct labor and factory overhead there was no need for us to do any calculation because of additional information number three and four okay let's take it direct labor cost amount to 200 and 14,749 for the year. They mean for the whole year. Already they, they already calculate us even though information was available. There was no need for you to calculate. Okay. Direct labor. Uh, 241749. And factory overheads, they said the total factory overheads cost for the year amounted to 216. 216.965. However, guys, you must be able to know everything that falls under factory overheads because the other previous question paper that we did, this one we were calculating it. And even this one, we were doing a calculation rate and then we multiply by how many hours workers they work and so on and so on. You, mu you must be able to do that. If you have in wise part one, make sure that you do so. Okay. Let's get the total here. It's going to give us 886414. 886414. Okay. Then finished goods is going to be 800,000. We take this one minus this one is give us this one. We write finished goods. We transfer it to finished goods account as a work in progress. And it's 800,000. Then let's get total here because we only have two items on the debit. It's going to give us 9692, 926,400. 926,400. Then cost of sales is this one minus this one. It's going to give us 901. This is how you prepare this account. Moving to the next one. The next one they said uh, calculate the gross profit for the year. Okay. And the last one calculate a markup. Gross profit. Remember guys uh, under information number B we have a sales of finished goods of 1,224,000. That's where we can be able to calculate what? Uh, a gross profit because we have a what? Sales and formula of gross profit equals to sales minus cost of sales. Our sales amount is 1520 minus this one of cost of sales, which means that you have to make sure that your account are very correct so that you can get the correct cost of sales. Okay, then it's gonna give you 619. Thousand okay, and last one they say we have to calculate a markup formula for markup is a gross profit 
divide by cost of sales, multiply by 100. It's a follow-up question. If you don't get this one right, you won't get this one. Then 619 divided by cost of sales of 901,000 multiplied by 100. Then our markup will be 68,7%. So that's how you calculate uh, this question. So those who want to buy extra class, uh, to, to join our extra class guys, make sure that you do so as soon as possible so that we can assist you with other uh, students that they are attending twice every week by only 100 rand so also guys if you want a similar question like this make sure that you purchase our study guide by only 100 rand uh, just text us on whatsapp requesting for guide make a payment then we're gonna send you a, a study guide it's a soft copy which is costing 100 rand the hard copy is not available at a moment because to print out those book guys is highly expensive and to deliver to you is gonna be worse okay i hope you enjoy and you learn something don't forget to subscribe to this channel to watch more videos see you next time